For too many years, our country has tolerated unacceptable delays at the airport, long wait times on the tarmac, and a slowing of commerce and travel that costs us billions and billions of dollars in lost hours and lost dollars themselves. Today, we're proposing to take American air travel into the future, finally. Finally, right? Finally. It's a long time. We're proposing reduced wait times, increased route efficiency, and far fewer delays. Our plan will get you where you need to go more quickly, more reliably, more affordably. And yes, for the first time in a long time, on time, we will launch this air travel revolution by modernizing the outdated system of air traffic control. It's about time. Since the early days of commercial air service, the federal government has owned and operated the United States air traffic control system. Yet, more than a half a century later, the government is still using much of the exact same outdated technology. At a time when every passenger has GPS technology in their pockets, our air traffic control system still runs on radar and ground-based radio systems that they don't even make anymore. They can't even fix anymore. But after billions and billions of tax dollars spent and the many years of delays, we're still stuck with an ancient, broken, antiquated, horrible system that doesn't work. Other than that, it's quite good. The previous administration spent over $7 billion trying to upgrade the system and totally failed. Honestly, they didn't know what the hell they were doing. A total waste of money, $7 billion plus plus. It's time to join the future. At its core, our new plan will dramatically improve America's air traffic control system by turning it over to a self-financing, nonprofit organization. This new entity will not need taxpayer money, which is very shocking when people hear that. They don't hear that too often. 